Okay, so I just wanted to go over the steps that it took for us to actually get to Maui. So obviously first, you need to book your hotel, your flights, and your car rental, which your car rental right now is going to be very expensive even if you can find one. So then you have to, you, everybody has to take a negative test to any island for Hawaii 72 hours before your final leg. So if you're leaving from like Seattle, you would go by Seattle time. If you're leaving from Indiana, but it's your final leg, not your first flight. Then you have to figure out where you're gonna test through. So there is um, hawaiicovid19.com that you can go to that website and see all their trusted partners. We opted to go with Volt, which is an at-home test that you do over a Zoom call, you spit in a tube, it's anywhere from 100 to $150, depending on the time frame for that. So then you schedule it, you ship it overnight. We ordered through Hawaiian Airlines, so we got our test back 24 hours. So then you have to upload those results to your um, hawaii.gov safe travels account. Everybody needs their own safe travels account. Like you can't, unless you're under 18, then you share one with your parents. But. So then after you do that, you also upload your travel plans, your flight information, your hotel. Then once you get your test, you have to answer a health questionnaire. Then you get a QR code, which you will show at your hotel, at the airline, everything like that. For Maui, you also have to download the Aloha Safe um, app, which is basically a tracing app. It says it doesn't trace you, but it notifies you if you come in contact with somebody. That is a requirement for Maui, though. Um, then basically, um, you can pre-register because once you get to Maui, you will have to take another COVID test um, at MauiArrivalTest.com, which you'll get another QR code, then you can bypass a line. So also we learned that certain airlines like Alaska, Hawaiian, Southwest, and United offer what's called a pre-clear, where if you're flying from a certain air, airport, they'll pre-clear you at the airport and give you a wristband. Um, and that saves you a huge amount of time. Some of the airlines that don't do that or if you left from another airport, the line is anywhere from what we've heard from people, one to two hours long. So if you can fly from one of those designated things, that wristband is a huge time saver. So basically after that, once you land in Maui, you go through all the steps, you take your last test, our lady told us no news is good news. We never heard anything. We never heard we were negative, but we also never heard we were positive. So that's how we're here.